call it what it is, right? So the two, so we've got both uh, two administrations that have tried to cap the the private car hires through ways that are unacceptable, and they dress it up as improvements, either improvements in terms of uh, air quality and congestion, we're reducing question, or better still, we're providing a better service. Uh, for the customers when we did the foreign language issue. We, this motion needs to be passed to send a message back to TfL. We support you in the in sensible capping of drivers here. Get your legislation centrally from central government. You can promote your own bill, but do not use discriminatory practices and try to hide behind them to do this. This is just so unfair in terms of another provision of public transport. See, I have a wider view about public transport. I do believe in walking and cycling. I do believe in the black cabs who do down this sector, but I do think there is a case for mini cabs. The question is, they should be regulated and they should be done properly, but we shouldn't be using schemes like this to try to enforce a capping regime. And that's why we shouldn't be media mouth. I know we have to address the issues of the consultation, but we should call TfL administrators. What they're doing is we're not going to collude with it. Boris Johnson might collude with it. Sadiq Khan might collude with it. We on the London Assembly have rumbled you, and we don't agree with you. But certainly there are issues that need to be addressed, but not in the way that they are proposing to do and for the reasons they're doing it. Yeah. I just wanted to say that.